Hello, hello everyone. It is Shauna from Created and Made Studios. I am bringing you a video tutorial today all about using scrapbook paper on your gel plate. Here you see me showing off all my gel plate tools. I have various brayers available for today's session. I have an eight inch, a six inch, and a four inch. I am using a 12 by 12 size plate and I have all manner of acrylic paint available as well. I have a barren and a composition book to deposit my extra paint. What you're also seeing me show you is a stack of scrapbook paper and a stack of backgrounds that I printed on the gel plate off camera. So what will we be doing with scrapbook paper in the gel plate? Well, we will be taking the scrapbook paper that has some sort of texture embossing or other effect and transferring those effects to our gel plate and then subsequently to our prints. We will try our hand at transferring texture, pattern, sentiment, and images. What I'm showing you here now is scrapbook paper as texture. We're going to be taking a few scrapbook papers that have various textures. We have a glitter texture, which you're gonna see first is the burlap texture. And then I believe we have some sort of roughly tissue paper texture as well. We are going to transfer those textures from the paper to the plate and then transfer them onto our prints. The first thing you see me doing here is just spreading out a little bit of that acrylic craft paint that we have off to the side. I'm using a few shades of pink and white. I'm taking my burlap page and I'm just going to press it into that wet paint. Now when I pull this print what you will see is that I'll have something that looks like it has an actual fabric texture. Now that's along the lines of what we're going to be doing today. You're going to see many textures and images and patterns that you can transfer from your scrapbook paper onto your gel plate. Now Every type of scrapbook paper won't work for this technique. You need something that has a texture, that has something you can feel with your fingers if you run your fingers along the page. Like embossing, glitter, you know, foil, those kind of things. You have to be able to feel it. If you can't feel it, then it's probably not erased enough texture to transfer properly on the gel plate. Now that's what you have to keep your eyes out for when you're looking through your stash to see if you have something that will work well for this technique. Additionally, I'll mention that the paint I'm using is the cheap stuff. There's nothing extravagant or expensive here. <laughs> In fact, I'm using, you know, 50 cent bottles of paint from Walmart, Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby, Liquitex, Dick Blick brand. I don't have too many expensive acrylics in my stash to begin with. And for this technique, you don't need anything that is top of the line or anything like that. This will work just fine with the cheap stuff. And I'm using the cheap stuff to print on top of a 100 pound card stock. Now that's also not necessary. Um, I determine what paper to use on the gel plate by thinking about what I want to do with the prints after I'm done. If I'm doing something that requires a sturdier paper, I'll use a heavier stock. If I'm doing like collage, then obviously I won't. So <clears throat> that's something you kind of want to just give thought to before you start a project and that will determine a lot of times what kind of paper you're going to use to pull these prints. So I'll go ahead and put this on fast forward and let you guys just take a look at the kind of patterns and textures and prints that I was able to get onto the gel plate. Enjoy! <music>
Hey guys, I'm back. I hope you have enjoyed watching this technique. I really do think it's a super useful way to give new life to those store-bought scrapbook papers. Plus, it's such a bonus when you end up with something like this. When the original page is beautiful and still usable. And then there are the prints themselves. This one, and I'm going to show you, is a perfect example. It turns out is such a great artistic rendering of the original but as you can see it's in colors that i chose on a background that i made i mean how cool is that by using this technique you can really get the most out of your supplies you can stretch those supplies and you can really personalize those store-bought papers I hope seeing this technique in action has inspired you guys to dust off those old or unused scrapbook papers, grab some paints and a gel plate to see what you can come up with. And as you can see from this recap, using this technique can produce some beautiful results. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you'd like to see more from me, let me know by hitting subscribe and tapping that like button. Have a creative day you guys. Bye bye.